A reading from the book of Genesis. Then God tested Abraham. Abraham, yes, here I am. Then God said, Take your dear son Isaac, your only son whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a holocaust on one of the mountains that I will point out to you. Abraham got up early in the morning and saddled his donkey. He took two of his young servants and his son Isaac. He had already cut the wood for the holocaust. He then set out for the place God had directed him. On the third day he looked up and saw the place in the distance. Abraham told his two young servants, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I are going over there to worship. Then we'll come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the holocaust and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders. He carried the flint and the knife. Then the two of them went off together. But Isaac said to Abraham, his father, Father, yes, my son, we have the flint and the wood, but where is the sheep for the Holocaust? Son, God will provide the sheep for the Holocaust. And they kept on walking together. They arrived at the place to which God had directed him. Abraham built an altar and he laid out the wood. And then he tied up his son Isaac and laid him on the wood. Abraham reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But just then an angel of God called out to him, Abraham, Abraham, do not lay a hand on that boy. Do not do the least harm to him. Now I know how fearlessly devoted you are to God. You did not hesitate to place your son, your dear son, on the altar for me. Abraham looked up. He saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket. Abraham took the ram and sacrificed it in place of his son. Abraham named the place Yahweh Yaira, God provides. That's where we get the saying, on the mountain, the Lord will provide. And again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham. I swear, declares the Lord, because you have gone through with this and have not refused to give me your son, your dear, dear son, I will bless you. Oh, how I will bless you. And I will make sure that your children flourish like the stars in the sky, like the sands of the seashore. And your descendants will always defeat their enemies. All nations on earth will find themselves blessed through your descendants because you, Abraham, you obeyed me. The word of God.